Hello Power Rangers fans and welcome back to Rangers of the Universe. I'm Chris and I'll be talking about the once and always Mighty Morphin Reunion Special. I'll be talking about all the news that we got during the 30th fan stream on January 17th. Now this is very late. As I said in my Cosmic Fury Suits video that I was talking about that. And the uh, Lightning Collection reveals from that stream. I was away during the stream, so the videos have been coming afterwards, and I finally had a chance to get to the once and always one. So, since then, we've also learned a couple other things about it, seen some tidbits of behind-the-scenes photos on uh, Catherine Sutherland's Instagram, wh Instagram, which make sure to check it out and follow her. She's absolutely amazing to me, so... We've seen things from that. We had the behind-the-scenes video released that day. And even a panel with two of the writers for the reunion special. So, first let's start off with that amazing Once and Always logo. We finally got a look at the logo for the special. And I absolutely love it. I think it looks amazing. I've always loved the phrase, Once a Ranger, Always a Ranger. You know, it's big and, it's been a big mantra of Power Rangers that, you know... Once a ranger, you're always part of the ranger legacy, the ranger family. So, I do absolutely love the logo. Now, we've known for some time now, and I did re talk about it in one of my past videos, that the special would be dropping sometime in April. We knew that. Now, we learned it will be available worldwide, officially on April 19th on Netflix. So... A little over two months from now, we will get to see the reunion special worldwide, even with Cosmic Fury. They're doing it same date worldwide, so we don't have a repeat of, you know, Dino Fury Season 2, where the rest of the world got it before the U.S., so unless you uh, stayed offline for a while, you saw everything that, you knew what was going to happen in all the episodes. So this time, it's all worldwide, we all get it at the same time. Now, something we've learned since this stream is, this was learned a uh, few days back. It was seen from Netflix UK, screenshotted from there, that the special will be 55 minutes long. So, I was estimating around like 40 minutes, it'd be that kind of length. So, it's amazing to get to see that it's 55 minutes. So, a little under an hour, but... I absolutely love that. I think it's a good amount of time. And who knows? I, If this is really good, maybe we could potentially see more. I think that'd be awesome. I love the idea of doing these reunion specials. So I can't wait to see it on April 19th. Now, kicking off with some of the things that we saw from the behind the scenes video. So we did get a look at David Yost and Walter Jones in their suits as Billy and Zach. So... Obviously, we can expect to see them in suits. And we also saw them with Min, played by Charlie Kirsch, with the Radbug version 2. So, the Radbug is making a return. Well, a new in, uh, new edition of it. So, version 2. So, we'll see that again. Billy's classic vehicle. And not only that, we did learn in the stream about the villains that we will be seeing. I forgot to say that part first. So, the villain for the special will be returning Barbara Gordon, the voice of Rita Repulsa. We will get Robo Rita. So, the official description for Netflix is 30 years ago, Zordon entrusted powers to the first team of Rangers. And when an old foe returns, the world needs their help again and they come to help. It's Robo Rita, and we're also going to see. According to it, the return of the Putties, the first foot soldier, Snizzard, and the Minotaur monsters. So, Snizzard recently had a release in uh, Deluxe Wave. What was it? Deluxe Wave 2. So, I'm kind of expecting now we'll get a Minotaur monster at some point. So, those are the two. So, those are two monsters that will be seen according to the Netflix description of it, as well as Robo Rita. And Richard Horvitz will be returning for the voice of Alpha. Now, this won't be Alpha 5. It's going to be a different number Alpha. 
I'm going to say it's probably going to be 30, 30th anniversary. So it'll be a brand new Alpha, but it will be the voice actor for it will be the original vo- Alpha voice actor, Richard Horvitz. So Barbara Gordon and Richard are both returning to their roles as Rita Repulsa and Alpha. Now, again, with photos that we saw, we did see a photo of Zach, Billy, Cat, and Rocky in this evil lair that looks to be Robo Rita's new and improved evil palace. Now, you can see Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures. So, some theories that have went around, which is also my theory, what could maybe be considered as maybe they're called back to action because Rangers have disappeared. So, with some kind of technology, because it's Robo Rita, she's captured Rangers and put them into small figure forms. So, those are just captured Rangers. And the Mighty Morph, the original Mighty Morph and Power Rangers, are called upon to save past Rangers. Now, you've seen that Mighty Morph in White. He's seen, you can see Lost Galaxy Green. Mighty Morphin Red, which could be Jason. So you have all these looks at them. So there's the theory that those could be captured rangers, that Rita's went around, Robo Rita has captured past rangers, and now this team of Mighty Morphin Rangers have come together to stop her and rescue past rangers. So that is the theory of it, but you can see that they are using Power Rangers Lightning Collection in what I'm expecting is Robo Rita's lair. So that was pretty cool to see. If you zoom in, you get a clearer look at them. So yeah, that's an amazing thing to see. And not only that, we also saw... So we also saw a look at Johnny Young Bosch and Karen Ashley as Adam and Aisha in their SPA uniforms. Now, we had a look at all of them in what seems to be the New Rangers base. And behind, you can see... There's a broken tube, which could be Zordon's broken tube. Now, are Adam and Aisha going to morph? Because obviously we have Zack there, who was also Mighty Morphin Black. And we have Min, Trini's, Trini's daughter, who is most likely taking on the powers of Mighty Morphin Yellow. Now, there's a lot of theories going around on Adam particularly. Because... You saw this fight sequence with putties that's part of the behind the scenes. And the green Mighty Morphin Power Ranger is there. So the six original Mighty Morphin colors are present. Now, Jason David Frank is not, well, sadly the late Jason David Frank was not revealed to have been working on this at all. And he said he wasn't a part of it. Now, There's multiple theories on this. That scene of all six of them, it could be a flashback. So it could be when they were originally Rangers. It could be a suit actor just in the suit and Jason David Frank doesn't appear. JDF, another possibility. JDF secretly flew there and filmed and just nobody knew about it or anything like that. And it's a well-kept secret. That one I'm highly doubting. I, I'm i not expecting him to be a part of it or for it to be him. And another theory I've seen going around is Adam. Johnny Young Bosch, Adam Park, is the new Mighty Morphin Green and wielding those powers. Now, my theory is I'd 100% love to see Adam Park morph again into something. Whether it's Mighty Morphin Black again or... If he does have the Mighty Morphin Green powers. But I'm expecting this to either be a flashback or a suit actor. If anything, maybe JDF did some ADR so it'll be his voice. But not him out of the suit. But I'm expecting it to either be a flashback or just a suit actor. And you won't have like words or anything coming from him. Nothing like that. But that is the theories with it. Now. Adam and Aisha, that is a big question of will we see them in suit? Because in the behind the scenes look, we only saw David Yost and Walter Jones in suit. But obviously, 
Cat and Rocky. We see them with Morphers, with Billy, all doing the morphing pose. So they are going to morph. You know, we see them with Morphers, and we see Rocky and Cat both with Billy and Zack in what looks to be Robo Rita's base. Now, out of Aisha, they have SPA uniforms on, which I think is the early foundation for SPD because it does make sense that two past Rangers that started Ranger history were the ones who formed what came to be SPD that had its own team of Rangers and trained Rangers. So I do not think we will see Aisha or Adam morph at all. I'm not expecting them to. I'm expecting them to maybe recruit the others and maybe have more of like a mentor behind the serum role, kind of like what the role Billy had in Power Rangers Zeo. That's more what I'm expecting, where I'm expecting the other four and Min to morph into the main five. And then we'll see with Mighty Morphin Green. Who knows? I mean, JDF could have returned. He could have just done some voiceover work with Hasbro so they could use Mighty Morphin Green and have his voice. We'll just have to wait till April 19th to find out and see. But there are behind the scenes also photos that have come since then of David Yost doing stunt work. So we are going to see, obviously, him suit up and fight putties. And I'd really like to see, you know, Rocky didn't get that chance to be red, so I'd love to see him lead. But I'd actually more like to see Billy as the leader with it because Billy was the only one who was who stayed his color all throughout for Mighty Morphin. All three seasons, he was the Blue Ranger. He was the only one to start episode one and finish the last season of Mighty Morphin. So I would love to see him as the leader of the team. I'm also hoping maybe we have Billy talk about Aquatar a bit. I'd love to hear what's been going on with him since then. Because we haven't seen Billy since Power Rangers Zeo when he was on the planet Aquatar and he told the other Zeo Rangers that he wasn't coming back because he met Sestria and fell and fell in love with her. Now, we haven't seen Zack since he left for the peace conference, so it's been a long time since we have seen the two of them. However, it's it's longer than Billy. We've seen Billy sooner than we've seen Aisha. We haven't seen Aisha since she decided to stay in Africa and give her Zeo Crystal to Tanya to join the Zeo Rangers. So, it's been the longest amount of time since we've seen Zack. We haven't seen him since Season 2 of Mighty Morphin. So, I hope we hear a little bit where he's been. And then, we haven't seen Aisha since she decided to stay in Africa. So I hope, you know, we find out obviously what she's been up to. Maybe have a little moment of her with Adam and Rocky, you know, them catching up. Like, obviously she's doing SPA with Adam. But just for a little feedback, how she came back in contact with Adam, how SPA started. Now, Adam Park. We haven't seen him since Once Ranger back in Operation Overdrive, the 15th. Season of Power Rangers, the 15th anniversary season. So, this past year, 2022, it had been 15 years since Operation Overdrive. So, this year, it's 16 years since we saw Johnny Young Bosch's Adam Park. And last we saw Adam Park, he had Alpha 6 with him, who Alpha 6 somehow got off Marinoi and ended up in a uh, storage center that Adam knew exactly where to find him at. Which, never explained, but that's a recurring thing in Power Rangers. And Adam took Alpha with him to his karate dojo that he owned. So that's the last time we saw Adam. Where Cat and Rocky, we just recently seen back in 2018 in Super Ninja Steel. Where they both appeared in the Dimensions in Danger crossover. However, they did not really interact, have much interaction with each other at all. So I can't wait to absolutely see this. Now, this is also the first time Walter Jones' Zach Taylor is interacting with any of them because the only one he's been on screen, you know, and shared Ranger powers with on a team with is David Yost, Billy Cranston. 
So him and Billy have this history. But, I mean, also looking at it, yes, Zack Zach handed over the powers to Adam, but the time that happened, Walter Jones was already separated from the show. Him, Austin, and Dai had already been fired and replaced. It was all archive footage. The moment Rocky, Aisha, and Adam were introduced in the Stone Canyon trio, the the ninja episode that they had, their introduction, when they were introduced, they were already off screen and using archive footage for the other three. So Walter Jones and Johnny and Bosch, they didn't work together in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It was all separate. It was archive footage by that point because they were going into the replacements when they brought in Rocky, Aisha, and Adam on. So this is the first time Walter Jones will see Zach Taylor interact with Adam, Aisha, Rocky, his first time meeting Kat. So this will be a big first because his characters only worked with Billy. So this will definitely be an amazing thing to see. I absolutely cannot wait for it. I definitely especially can't wait to see where it goes with the Green Ranger because we did see that there. I'm really hoping it's not flashback. And maybe they at least got JDF to do some voiceover work to voice the character. So we can at least have his voice with the suit. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. And I'm looking forward to seeing Robo Rita. You know, I hope that there is right about it being captured Rangers kind of thing. I think that'd be a definitely pretty cool thing. I hope maybe seeing where the timeline it is. And with the description being like when an old foe returns... The original team is needed to come back and save the world again. I'm estimating that this goes on like at the same period of time as Cosmic Fury. And the Cosmic Fury Rangers are already in outer space. Facing Lord Zed. Chasing after him. So the Mighty Morphin Rangers have to... The new team of Mighty Morphin, the new and improved one, have to step up to face Robo Rita threatening the Earth and capturing rangers maybe so yeah absolutely looking forward to this we got two more months until it hits and yeah then we get an answer to all the questions and who knows until then you know it is also two months so maybe we could get a little trailer and i'm definitely expecting more behind the scenes photos i mean the other day Catherine southern Catherine sutherland recently posted one of her in the green room Doing the morphing pose. So it does look as though we are getting a new morphing sequence. Which is amazing. You know I didn't really like the morphing sequence that we saw of Jason and uh, the Beast Morphers crossover. Dinosaur crossover type of thing. I didn't really like his morph. I would love to see a uh, morph that like Adams in Once a Ranger back in Operation Overdrive. That was one of my all-time favorite morphs. I mean, Disney did a stupendous job with that new and improved Mighty Morphin morphing sequence because they could not use the original morph because it was owned by Saban. So, I absolutely can't wait to see what the new morphing sequence is because considering they had her in a green room doing the morphing pose, that definitely means we're getting a new sequence. So, yeah. April 19th, we got two more months, then we got some more answers to those questions, and finally get to see the full-out result of this. So, yeah, that is all for this video. Make sure, if you like this video, to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell for notifications. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter for all channel news and updates. Now, that's all for this video, but I will be back with much more Power Rangers, Super Sentai, and Lightning Collection content. And also, I've started to get into Kamen Rider, so there's going to be some videos on that. So, see you soon, and tune in.